Hi guys. Why are the Himalayas so high? Wow. Check it out. <coughs> the Himalayas are so big. Um, why are they so big? Alright. I will explain. The Himalayas are inhabited by 52,700,000 people and are spread across five countries. Nepal, India, Bhutan, China, and Pakistan. Some of the world's major rivers, the Indus, the Ganges, and the Tsangpo Brahmaputra, rise in the Himalayas, and their combined drainage basin is home to roughly 600 million people. The Himalayas have a profound effect on the climate of the region, helping to keep the monsoon rains on the Indian plain and limiting rainfall on the Tibetan plateau with 29,029 feet in height, or 8,848 meters, or 348,346,456.69291 inches covered by 2,400 kilometers, or 1,491.291 miles in length, and 420,500 square miles, 1,089,090 square kilometers, in area. The Himalayas have profoundly shaped the cultures of the Indian subcontinent, many Himalayan peaks are sacred in Hinduism and Buddhism. Oh my gosh, that's really 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 big. But, how did the Himalayas form? How did they form? Well, it started 90 million years, 25 billion 550 million days, ago when India became an island. Around 90 million years ago, India started to move northwards. About 80 million years ago, India was located roughly 6,400 kilometers, 3,976.776 miles, south of the Asian continent. When India rammed into Asia about 50 million years ago, its northward advance slowed by about half, but these mountain peaks didn't exist yet. The Asian continent was mostly intact, but India was an island floating off the coast of Australia. The north moving Indo-Australian plate, which has subsequently broken into the Indian plate and the Australian plate, was moving at about 15 centimeters, 0.492126 feet, per year. About 30 million years later, India was about 100 kilometers south of the Asian continent, about 50 million years, 18 billion 250 million days. Ago this fast-moving Indian plate had completely closed the Tethys Ocean, which collided with Asia. Since the initial encounter, the subcontinent of India has moved 2,000 kilometers, 1,242.742 miles, farther north at a rate of 5, 0.164042 feet, centimeters a year, sliding beneath Asia as it moves. Consequently, the crust has become unusually thick, reaching a maximum of 78 kilometers, 48.467 miles, beneath the Tibetan Plateau. The Himalayan mountain range and Tibetan Plateau have formed as a result of the collision between the Indian Plate and Eurasian Plate which began 50 million years ago and continues today. About 40 million years ago, the Himalayas are rising constantly, but at a slow rate of 2 mm per year, it causing earthquakes rapidly over time in comparison to most mountain ranges, and it's still growing today. Mount Everest and its fellows grow by approximately a net of about a centimeter or so every year. They've also determined that the Himalaya mountains are still growing higher, at a rate of about 2.4 inches, or 6.1 centimeters per year. That does not sound like very much. That's in comparison to the Appalachian Mountains, which developed some 300 million years ago. A new claim study claims that the continental collision that triggered the formation of the Himalayas about 50 million years ago would come to a complete halt in the next 20 million years. The name of the range derives from the Sanskrit words, Hema, meaning snow, and Ala, meaning receptacle, or dwelling. 
This was also previously transcribed Himalaya, as in Emily Dickinson's poetry, and Henry David Thoreau's essays. Today, this is what the Himalayas look like now. Today, the Indian plate continues to be driven horizontally at the Tibetan plateau, which forces the plateau to continue to move upwards. The Indian plate is still moving at 67 mm feet, per year. This leads to the Himalayas rising, even more, making them geologically active. The movement of the Indian plate into the Asian plate also makes this region seismically active, leading to earthquakes from time to time. Over the next 10 million years, 3,650 million days, it will travel much further upwards, about 1,500 kilometers, 932.0568 miles, into Asia. So that's how it formed. Indeed, the highest mountain ever in the world is Mount Everest with 29,028 feet, or 8,848 meters, high. Okay then.